Now, the one that I'm going to talk about is the DataView Playground, as you can see right now. On your screen right now in the browser, okay? So, you can Google it out saying that DataView Playground, it will pop up the first link, or you can say developer.mulesoft.com learn slash DataView, this is the URL. Okay, this is one of the URL. Now, in this DataView Playground, you have the payload here. Let's let's talk about this later. Uh, okay, then you have the script, the data view script where you write, and here you can see the output. See, the payload is getting converted. The payload, whatever you have, it's getting scripted over here, and then you're seeing the output. Now, does it resemble something? I'll go back here and I'll shift to three view or all the view. Okay, I'll get this guy. Okay, I need to mini kind of resize it. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, and I have to click you on the preview. Now that completes most everything. Okay, here you have the, oh, sorry, where is it? Okay, this guy's gone. Okay, here you have the data view script. Here you have the data view script. Here is the output preview. Here is the output preview. And here you have the input payload. And you have the input payload. And you can perform this. We have not yet spoken how to map one to one mapping. We have not at all spoken about this. We will we'll deal with that later. And even the metadata as well, we will deal with that later. See, now it is kind of a reflecting over there, right? Same thing, right? So, see here. Now, if I click on the payload, can you see this? Just, just click on it. Just click on it. Let me refresh this. Okay, let me refresh this and just click on this. You get the data view playground. Okay, I will take this as it is. And here, let me say, edit sample data. See, take this. Okay, let me minimize this again. Take this, paste it over here. Okay, see, this is pasted over here. Good. Next step, take this data view, paste it over here. So, this data view, paste it over here. And this output is reflected over here. So, that's how the data view playground works like. Okay. So as similar to any points view just let me close this because further going on this would be relevant to me when i teach data weave okay and for a lot of references you can click on this api references and this will pop up a lot of good functions which we have not yet spoken any of those things to be honest we have not spoken any of those things we'll, we'll speak later and also you can click on the tutorial and talk about it when you read this tutorial, you, you would have come across some of them. I've used it in my videos, but there is an array. Sorry, there is a <laughs> tutorial. If you can see the tutorial and there's a playground, you can kind of intertwine, inter switch between those two things and work it out. So this is a playground which we will be working on, and uh, you can obviously click on this. And this this is something it's it's fine. We'll uh, we'll let's not get into all those definition at this stage. Um, yeah, that's it. This is what I want to talk about. Since so, you know, there's a data view playground <coughs> and instead of studio, we can work in the browser itself. Cool. Now this concludes um, the data view part one. And we have learned a lot of things. We have learned about variables, if else conditions, functions, okay, uh, appending, prepend, uh, operators, many more many of that and or not true false statement yeah we have learned lot of good um, good set of information the data weave now let us see how we can apply that in our next videos okay in the next video or the next section we will continue with the uh, with the database part uh, and uh, yeah let's see how we can make it work out until then have a great learning and see you guys in the next tutorial thank you